Did y'all get into this episode 9 of Bel Air Thursday? It's a lot going on per usual. Carlton's still lying about being on that stuff. Well, he lied to Will. And he's still lying about what happened that night when he was binging with Connor. So now on this episode, Connor just goes missing. We don't know where Connor is. People at school haven't seen him. Halfway through the episode... Carlton comes home and sees Connor and his mom sitting with Vivian. Now I'm thinking they told him everything that had told her everything that happened. Come to find out, Connor is conjuring up this lie, another lie, and Carlton's trying to add on to it. And it's like, just tell the truth, y'all. You tell one lie, you got to back it up with another and another. I will say this. Now him and Connor are not friends like that, right? I don't trust Connor. I feel like Connor is going to use that as blackmail later on because he has that dirt on him about him being on cocaine. I don't remember with episode, uh, season one, I don't remember if uh, Vivian and Phil knew he was on cocaine. I know uh, Will did because he caught him doing it. But I don't think that his parents know yet. But he need to watch out for Connor because I just don't trust him. You know, he's he, he's his supplier. He's not, they're not friends. So why are you so quick to lie for Carlton, someone who you're not that close to outside of getting high with and giving dope to? So watch out, Connor or Carlton. So throughout this episode, uh, Hillary's having some kind of influencer thing, some kind of like football game they're doing with whatever. So she was spent uh, most of her time with LaMarcus, still wanting to talk to Jazz, but you know, everybody's afraid to text everybody. And Jazz has this upcoming meet and greet at his record shop, right? Now, I'm going to get back to that because I kind of want to save that towards the end about what happens at the record shop. For those of you who, I'm pretty sure everybody's just watching this scene the episode. We're pretty much recapping. So, about this Doc situation, he's, I thought it was going to be something more sinister. The whole bribes thing, I thought that was pretty common in high school, uh, college sports, maybe even NFL. I mean, I don't, you know, I don't know. I'm not into sports like that, but I thought it was going to be something a little bit more heavier than bribes. But uh, that's why Doc sought Will out. And then when Will sat there and told him all his business about how Phil got him out of that gun charge, now he's holding that over Philip's head. Because Philip and G went to go see Doc. They were like, look, Carl, uh, Will's not playing for you no more. Woo, woo, woo. Then he hit him with the, well, I know that you pull some strings to keep him from going to jail. So he he's kind of has Philip in his pocket right now, unfortunately. And, and that's what happens when you be talking too much. You can't tell everybody your business, but we see that. Still on Phil, this Erica character who I just, she is a snake. I do not like her. And Vivian needs to watch out. Phil and Erica have lunch again and Erica's coming by the house, giving Vivian flowers, trying to weasel her way back in. And while they were done with lunch, when they got done with lunch, she whispers in Philip's ear a little in a seductive type way, talking about some, this is going to be so great and all this. You know how women do when we when you're getting the seduction on. And I'm like, girl, you see what happens when you try to forgive people. And st sometimes you have to forgive people and love them from afar. Do not let them back in your life. I don't see anything happening with her on this season finale. Probably next, uh, probably next season. And I don't know if they're gonna have a uh, season three start at the end of this year or next year, cause you know they're doing that kind of differently now. Like back in the day, you had one season for the year, and they sh did reruns until the next year. But so yeah, we'll we'll still see about that. Vivian accepts the position of executive director. I'm very happy for her. I really am. Um, and someone on Twitter was saying how they feel like it was done on purpose because she's replacing the Vivian who replaced the other Vivian and Fresh Prince. So I don't know if they wrote it like that or if it just happened to come like that for real. So Will confronts Jackie about this whole doc situation. She squares up and down. She doesn't know too much about it. 
they end up, you know, having having sex for the first time and all that. Uh, I'm still not sure if they're a couple. I don't think so yet. I know they're just talking or whatnot. He still got feelings for Lisa. He don't know what he want to do. In regards to that, uh, my personal take on this Ashley character, I really want them to do something more with her character because I'm going to say this and people can take it how they want, but I feel like they're pretty much playing up on what's big in society right now, which is like social justice stuff. And that's cool. It's pretty much like art imitating life. I get it. But we need to do more with Ashley. I just feel like her character is just there. It's almost like if they took her character off, we wouldn't miss it. Whereas on The Fresh Prince, she she had a role. Like the episode where Tevin Campbell came, the episode uh, where she little boy wanted to blow in her ear you know when she went on her first date with Tevin Campbell um she had a presence and I feel like this actually doesn't have a presence and writers Bel Air if you happen to run across my video we got to do something with Ashley's character I I just I feel like she can offer so much and I don't want to wait until she's like in high school two three seasons down the road to where she finally gets she she needs something going on okay so i need to separate my notes a little bit better so i don't even know if i should mention this but lisa finds out about carlton and connor huh you know i don't really care for her character too much she she's somebody else that they need to do more with the main thing in this episode for me all right Hillary goes to Jazz's meet and greet. She doesn't tell him she's coming, I believe. She steps halfway into the door, sees him dancing with girls. I mean, what are you supposed to do at that party? I, I don't know what she was expecting him to be. The DJ uh, standing on the wall. She see him just dancing with some girls. It's nothing inappropriate. He ain't having no, no booty in his face. He ain't tongue kissing. He's just dancing. That was enough for her to turn around, walk out. As soon as he glanced at the door, he had just missed her. She carries herself right over to Lamarcus's house. The same guy that she's been telling for like the past week that it's just business. We're just friends. She's telling everybody we're just friends. It's just blah, blah, blah. You get your feelings hurt and you literally jump into his arms like he carried her off like he was carrying her off into the sunset. And it's like that's how people get hurt. When you act out of emotion, people get hurt. She should have set, went home, slept, woke up and then called Jazz and be like, hey, you know, I was I was at the party. I saw you dance with some girls. I didn't know if, you know, maybe you was talking to somebody or something. I feel like LaMarcus could end up getting hurt. And with him having money, you don't know what kind of connections, what kind of goons he knows. I mean, you just don't know. And I just feel like it's like, Hillary, did you want him? And you were just trying to hope that you and Jazz got back to That part blew me. (coughs) It blew me, honey. I think that's all I got for this episode. Uh, what I predict for next episode, either Carlton's going to get into, uh, going to have a overdose, or Connor's going to blackmail him, which I feel like he does, because what does he get out of line for Carlton? I feel like Hillary and Jess Lamarcus. I can't say for sure what I think is going to happen with them, but something's probably going to happen. Now, I feel like Jeffrey's going to end up taking Doc out next season. That's what I think. Because they didn't really go over it too much in season one, but he killed them two dudes in season one because he was just like, it's been handled. And then we find out later on that he was in a gang and he was into some heavy stuff when he was in the U.K., I think G going to handle Doc. That's why he took, that's why Phil took him with him. You know, Jeffrey's muscle. 
he's a butler, but he's also the muscle of the house, okay? I can't believe it, y'all. This week, this Thursday is the season finale. We need more than 10 episodes. Peacock, NBC, whoever. We need more than 10 episodes, man. We need at least 15. 10 episodes is just not enough. That's two months and, and like two weeks. That is not enough for a season, okay? Give us 15 episodes, all right? All right, I am sleepy as heck. I am going to bed. And I will see you later, probably, if not another video, it'll be the Bel Air season finale, all right? As always, peace and blessings. Thank you to my 29 subscribers. I appreciate you so much. Don't ever let anybody tell you that small numbers don't matter, because they do, all right? They matter to me. All right, y'all, have a good one.